I wanna be the best of all time with rhyme schemes, fine things, turn cheeks as red as rashes. I wanna be the best ever with my pen as the advocate. Ride like Bush Cassidy through the desert, bringing heat to your seat that'll burn your ass a bit. See, okay, it's for the forgotten, trotting back to the seats and out of respect, receive the applause that they had to get. But I'm on a party that I'm learning to a party for the best of the best in the flame of 18 wheeler. We stole the gas, ready to crash the shit. <laughs> Genevieve Van Cleve, and I'm the old lady at the club. I'm 36 years old, motherfucker. <laughs> you heard somebody go tell their story without without the filter of a corporation. When's the last time that happened? And it happens here. For better or worse, it happens here. And I think people like it because they're moved by it, because they see themselves in it. And I hope, frankly, that most of our audience turn into performers. I want to turn people into, into performers here. Do not vote for Barack Obama. Do not do it. It's the worst thing you could do to us. We black people don't want a black president. How are we going to fight the man if we are indeed the man? We'd be like, fight the power. Yo, nigga, we are the power. Oh, uh, pay your taxes. Pay your I mean, I've been inspired. I've been uh, offended. I've been everything. The range of emotions at a, at a, at a Sparty Slam is amazing. I mean, I think we live a very um, vanilla life in most of our world. And you come to the Poetry Slam, you get pissed off, you get happy, you cry, you remember a first love, you, everything happens because someone says something that touches you. And you don't get that at anyone else. So I hope people realize that that's what we do here. I mean, you feel and smell everything. And that's just, it makes, it's like church. Like how much, how, who goes to church? We don't go to church. Our generation doesn't go to church. Gosh, is everybody going? To, you guys probably all go to church. Do you go to church? Nobody goes to church. This is church. We, cut, we need to gather and raise our voices amongst like-minded people. So this is church to us. And when you come in, you feel that power. So that's why we come back. Jesus, from what I understand, thought that any of us could talk to God at any moment. Whether riding in a Honda Accord or a city bus, whether peasant or queen, whether humble or proud, you just have to be quiet and talk to him. You just have to be present. I want to make a note that says, do you like me? With three boxes, yes, no, or maybe. All my game flies out the window in the face of you, and I feel old school. And by that, I mean elementary school. Like, back in the day when the space between wanting to hold someone's hand and actually holding it could inspire lifetimes of passionate yearning. So let me break it down for you. I don't want to fuck you. I want to build a fort with you, right in the middle of the living room, with all the sheets and all the blankets and all the chairs and the whole house. Write down your life, because if you don't write it down, nobody will, and it will be as if you never existed. So it's very important to talk to each other in a very human language, because if you don't compare notes with each other, it's, it's like you're all alone in this universe. So that's what this is all about. It's the call and response. It's developing a language that you can use to communicate your gut to each other. Because without it, oh man, it's a really lonely place to live.